you know, I've heard that Gen Z is supposedly supposed to be the most conservative generation in the next, in the last hundred years. Um, honestly, I see Gen Z as, I don't think it's getting, getting it any better. I don't want to talk about, um, anyway, I have Gen Zers, right? And the Gen Zers I'm raising, I think are going to be, are highly conservative compared to most Gen Zers. Um, but I still see it out of them, right? I still see some of these traits, but my kids know better. Like a lot of, I'm just saying, this is why I say the way, I, what I say is because parents nowadays are not raising their kids, right? There's a lack of morals and respect that they're teaching their kids. They're all, they're honestly raising their kids like they are their own, like they're their friends. There's no structure. There's no respect. Um, they, these, these Gen Z's, they talk like they talk with the adult content, um, adult language, um, really young, really, really. And you, and you'd be surprised if you, if you heard some, some of them, what they say, how highly disrespectful or there's no there's no knowing of um boundaries or um like common sense there's a huge lack of common sense uh they they don't know how to do basic things to take care of themselves because everything's done for them. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to think of the phrase or the word of how inappropriate a lot of these, a lot of these uh, kids are. Some of the stuff that they say is highly inappropriate. And honestly, going forward, it could end them in jail with hate crimes. Um, they say off the wall stuff just to say it and they might not even mean it right but they say it and they they joke about things that you really sh that that shouldn't be joked about because they live in like this this fake reality they're always in digital the digital reality they're not really out in the real world they don't see like they'll laugh at somebody's death, right? They'll do something like that. Like things that you shouldn't laugh about uh, or make fun of, they'll do. Like there's, it just seems like with this generation, there's no extent of them making fun. Like they, they'll make fun of, you know, like there's just there's just no boundaries of what they'll make fun of. Um, and they just don't care. Um, because there's certain things that you definitely like. For instance, okay, here, here here's an example. If if 9-11 wants to happen right now, they would make fun of it. You know how if you if you're if you're my age and you can and you can remember how 9-11 was and how serious it was. And and yet it was it was very serious. That was it, it was an attack on America, and thousands of people lost their lives, innocent people. They would make fun of it. That's what I'm saying. Like a a, a nuclear weapon could drop on an American city right now and kill millions of people, and they would make fun of it. They would laugh at it. There's no moral compass at all. There's no self awareness at all they just not all okay not all i'm generalizing right now 
And that's why I say uh, it, you, you're going to have to take care of yourself if you're, if, when you become old. Like, they're highly self-centered. They don't care about anybody but themselves. Um, it's getting worse and worse. It, it is. You can't expect the next generation to, uh, to, to take care of you when you be like, to, or handle business, go to work or anything. Honestly, you know, they say the millennials are really bad. I, wait till the Gen Zers come out and they're adults. Wait till, and that's coming soon. Wait till they come out. And you and you guys, if you guys think that the millennials are bad, wait till the Gen Z comes out. You guys will see. It's just like there's some things you don't joke about, right? There's some things you don't make fun of. And they'll go there and not care. Because they're not being taught any different. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. There's just not that moral compass there. Because they don't live in reality. This, this is, this is, this is, if you want to know why I think that the, the decline, it's not just economical. It's, it's the la the breakdown of the family. That, that's what it is. It's the break, like the little breakdown of the family and, that's why I say that we cannot sustain this. There's no way we can sustain this. Because everybody's on their own island. And we're not working together for a common good. It's 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 amazing. It's I, I you know, I'm kind of at a loss for words, but um, these are, these are real truths I'm talking about. Like I said, it's not all kids, right? But there's a lot of them that just, they're getting worse and worse. And if, if you have anyone to blame, it's the parents, it's the parents, you know, uh, you hear, oh, millennials are so bad. Well, who raised them? Gen X complains about the millennials or the baby boomers complains. Well, who raised them? Who raised them? I joke about them, but who, I just joke. I just don't care. But who raised them? Who raised them? Did they? Obviously, they raised themselves. Same with these Zoomers. Obviously, they raised themselves. A lot of them, a lot of these Zoomers are coming. It, the, the mental illness is getting worse and worse, and and and, and the huge thing is is is, is the lack of the family. They, they don't feel comfortable. They don't, they feel abandoned. There's a lot, a lot of things. Listen, I'm kind of different. Um, I, I'm a, I'm t I guess I'm a Gen X, but I, I, in my life, I felt like I was a millennial. So I'm, I think I'm a mix of both. So I think I'm a little bit different in that aspect. I kind of, you know, I've, I felt that pamperedness of a millennial but you know i i'm more i don't know it's just most people don't see this or they won't talk about it because people don't want to handle the truth they just want to what, what people like to do is they like to take the sweep the dust underneath the rug and that's what people do yeah, that's what I got.